you. And with those temperatures rising next week, some Baltimore City schools, they will be dismissing early or just closing their doors completely because of the lack of air conditioning. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Springs Elementary and Middle School looking into this problem. Mike. And Christina, it affects this school and nine others. Schools are off for Labor Day, but you just heard those brutal temperatures are coming, and that means some disruptions to learning this early in the school year. Good morning. Clap, clap, clap. Just days after the school year began with excitement in Baltimore City, some students will be out of class next Tuesday and Wednesday and maybe longer because temperatures are expected to soar into the 90s and they have no air conditioning. Andre Riley heads communications for the district. We are going to do the right thing to keep our students safe in schools that don't have air conditioning. We, we really would love the weather to break. This is the list of city schools without AC. Kindergarten and first graders will be dismissed early, while grades 2 through 12 will be learning virtually. Riley says they can pivot faster because of lessons learned during the COVID pandemic. It's live at home instruction via your computer. So those students will be, they'll be interacting with their teachers, they'll be going through lessons, and we'll be able to deliver those. Crumbling buildings and bad HVAC systems have long been problems in Baltimore. In 2018, WJZ dug into issues surrounding a lack of heat in many classrooms. Super icy cold. Very angry. And this has been going on what? A little too long, and it's ridiculous. And City Springs really needs some help. And you keep sending them home every day, get it fixed. But progress has been made, particularly when it comes to air conditioning. In 2017, 75 schools did not have it. Today, the number is down to 10. And by the middle of the school year, that number will be reduced to 8. So that's an incredible amount of progress. It's a progress that we promised this community and the governor of Maryland. One year ago, now Governor Westmore tweeted that it was unacceptable that some city schools had to close because they did not have air conditioning. Is there a timeline for when every school building is going to get air conditioning? I cannot give you that date, but the goal is we're moving as fast as we possibly can. And meals are also very important, and city schools administrators are looking at a plan to make sure that every student has access to food while the doors are closed because of the hot weather. Reporting live in East Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.